first video room coming down the elevator stepping off going to do a whole circle of this room first I uh, see a lot of interesting things here looks like an old dentist uh, equipment right here old drill yep have the acetylene tank I think these are projectors, I can't get to them just yet. Old bell. Interesting stuff is to the right as soon as you come up the elevator. Um, these are Easter Line um, gauges. Old camera. This is an autograph. There's so much stuff here, it's incredible. Only touching the surface, you, you can't believe the stuff that's here. You have to see it. Uh, this gentleman is very meticulous. He boxed up everything in order. All different kind of uh, autographs, gauges. The stuff I can't even get back to over here. Uh, let's swing over here. Old bugle, French horn, whatever it is. More gauges. I don't know if you can see it in the dark now over here. It gets a little dark. Uh, the stuff to roll up the lines for the uh, electrical. A lot of wiring. Glass rods. Nuts, bolts, washers. You name it. This gentleman collected everything. Let's go around. More gauges, voltmeters. It's a little hard, it's a little dark down here. I'm gonna have to bring more light and do another video. This is the first one. Some old tape recorders. Interesting. Gas register, an old one. Not sure what these uh, mechanical parts are. Relays, yes. We didn't hit the interesting things yet, so bear with me. Just want to show you what's on the shelving. Might spark some interest. Excuse my voice. Still a little shot with these allergies. More different kinds of motors, fan motors. I just want to do the outer part of the perimeter of this one room. Give you an idea. Oh, this light don't work great. Um, buried back over here, you probably can't see. Look on the stills. Got some old phones. I think a lot of movie companies and designing firms would like some of this old equipment that he has here. More gauges. More motors. Old coffee grinder. Then we have some interesting uh, machines. We got a shopsmith here. It's got the table slaw, the lathe, the uh, jigsaw on the end. Interesting. Commercial drill press. Walker Turner is the brand. Machine lathe, metal one. This one's very interesting. Who makes this one again? Um, Furman's. Fermaz. A lot of different tips. Old blow torches. There's some more of the tips with the workbench that I came with it. Sorry, very tight down here. Get through. Here's some more different bits. Masters the motor. Um, these are interesting. Old seltzer bottles. We got some more machinery in there. 
bandsaw. Maybe this is the best to see on this side. Here's another lathe, wood lathe. We'll go around and catch it on the other side. Drill stand. He's got a telescope buried under here. He's got a lot of interesting things. Old horns. One was for a car. Partially repaired. This one right here I think is very interesting. You can see it bolts up on the front there. Pretty cool. Okay, let's just walk around again to the other side. Old style shop vac. That's just interesting to me. Um, these are test gauge uh, for uh, pressure. Got so many things, I don't even know what else is in there. Uh, in here, you can't see it, but he has old Bunsen burners. Some more chemical stuff. Interesting. He's got a lot of stock over here for melting down. Oh, I forgot to show you. Uh, here it is a uh, sweltering machine, what they call it. It melts down things. He made a lot of stuff himself. He did fishing. Um, here's a uh, belt sander. Let's see if I can get the name on that one. Um, Craftsman, it's an old Craftsman. He has Rockwell Delta uh, bandsaw. He's got different grinders, sanders, old machinery. Heavy duty stuff. They don't make them like they used to. Um, a lot of the drawers I can't even get open down here. He's got tripods, different kinds of tripods for surveying, telescopes. He's got so many in here hidden away. Um, here's some of the old tools on the workbench. Beautiful work tools. Old antiques. I know you're not going to see much. You're going to have to look at the still pictures that we're going to have up. Here's the other side. It's called uh, the uh, Atlas. Is the wood uh, lathe. Very nice. They have all different kind of uh, bits for it. Over here in the workbench, many different multi clamps. Uh, this is a unique box right here. This is one of those boxes when you turn it on, creates a spark between the two wires all the way up. Really cool. Didn't try it out yet. The owner said he used to play with it as a kid. This is a uh, auto transformer. Uh, you can control voltage coming out of the wiring. That looks like a voltage meter. A um, whole bunch of files. Old uh, sanders that are over here in box you can't see now. All right, this is only uh, the one room down in the basement coming out of the elevator again. Um, there's an old safe. Let me see. I don't know if anybody's going to have some use for it. Ow. Hold on, I'm just trying to turn the burn light around. And I just got burnt. Excellent. Got an old safe over there in the corner. Got some still pictures of that. Yeah, Alright, and this is back to the homemade elevator. This gentleman was a, he was an engineer for the Navy. He built his own elevator in the house. Pretty really unique. Alright, this ends of video one.